Oh, you play tennis? Welcome back, Talflater folks. I just got back from the tennis court. OG and Jeff out here with you on a blistering summer day at the Talflater Mouse Black Site. Hey, um... Wait a minute, we got a pile of crap back there. That's the Black Site. That's, that was a jet that we just brought down. It oh, okay. Us. Come on. Okay, ignore that. Yeah, ignore We're at a that. place where people are pigs. That is not a, that is not a crashed F-18. Okay. This is not the F-18 you're looking for. Okay. Hey, this is another installment in the uh, Officer Greg Tells You How to Work Around California's Ridiculous Gun Laws. So, I brought with me my tennis racket today, complete with tennis balls. What you say, I've been playing a lot of tennis lately, and in my tennis bag, I have a SIG P400 AR pistol. Now, uh, it's tough to buy AR pistols in California anymore, but while they were legal, I went ahead and purchased an AR pistol. Um, for those of you who are going to comment down below about how bad California is, yeah, we already know, you guys. We know how bad California gun laws are. Our focus in this little episode here is to show you different ways that you can still own stuff and work around California gun laws. Everybody who says that we should just flee California, listen, we got it. But some of us are gainfully employed here. Some of us have generations of family from here. You wouldn't pick up from Tennessee and go somewhere else because they passed one little uh, crazy law tomorrow. So. By the way, when did Americans ever pick up and flee oppression? We don't leave just because something gets hard. We stick around and fight it. As I've mentioned before a million times, California politicians would love nothing more than for me to pack up all my cool toys and leave this state. And I'm not going to give them the satisfaction. I'm sticking around and I'm keeping these cool toys. These well, people in Texas don't want us to move there. People in exactly. Colorado, are, is, exactly. the state is ruined because of California's move exactly. there. Flee California and go where? Because, uh, you know. Yeah, let's we, let's pollute the other yeah, states. California's you know, even though our, you know. Californians are not the best house guests. We, uh, we make a mess and we leave the toilet seat up. So <laughs> uh, we tend to mess up places that we go to, uh, at least some Californians. So we're going to stick around for the time being, however, and, and, and work at some... Uh, some workarounds to the California silly gun laws. So let's begin here with the SIG M400. So the SIG P400 is a, uh, is a pistol version of an AR-15 rifle. And what makes this a pistol, first of all, is the paperwork that I keep stored here in the little grip that states that it's a pistol, right from my FFL dealer. That way nobody can question that. It was registered as a pistol, bought as a pistol. Um, also what makes it a pistol is it does not have a stock. This is an arm brace and it's a fixed arm brace, it does not collapse. Because it's a pistol, it, ha it can have a flash hider out on the front, which most things in California are not allowed to have. Anytime a pistol in California has a magazine outside of the pistol grip, it has all kinds of regulations in California. There is no way to make this legal in California without this shiny little button right here. This little button causes the thing to break open and that's what makes this legal. You can't have a pistol with an outside magazine Unless the a removable over. magazine, Re removable, but it has to be removable with a break open action. Okay. So, what we do to make this legal, to to eject a magazine on this rifle, press the button. You can see that it breaks open the action, and yes, that's enough to make it legal. And as soon as that breaks open, there, I can use the magazine release from either side. Magazine now pops out. Of course, this is probably a ten round magazine, right? And then we can take a fresh magazine. What we do is we close the action, it automatically locks itself closed. We insert the fresh magazine, we run the bolt, and we are back in business with a recharged uh, pistol. Isn't that silly? So, in practice, this is actually not all that much slower. We might show you some live fire here in a minute. But to get a magazine out and to replace your magazine, you're actually not doing too bad. It's just a fraction of a second slower than a regular uh, running a regular rifle. I've got a little vortex I, off. I, I've seen top. some of those things where the, the whole action has to open up, you know. And of course, that was their intent when they passed the law. <laughs> yeah. When they passed the law, they wanted you to be able to break the entire thing in half to be able to get to the bullets. And they actually wanted you to stuff them in from the top here. <laughs> That's the way back in the uh, early 2000s when California went through its rifle ban. We had to break these open. The magazine was welded in place. It was just a box here. And the rounds had to be fed in from the top. So the whole rifle had to come apart. Well, Californians, like all people in the United States, are ingenious. You pass a law, we're gonna figure out a way around it. The law states that the action has to break open, making the rifle or well, pistol. the people making the laws don't really understand what laws they're doing. A no. flash, what does a flash hider do? You no. know, they, they for some reason they think a flash hider is 
It makes it's it secret some so you can assassinate. It's various thing, yeah. It's like the silencer thing. Yeah. They think silencer, they watch too many movies. That's where they get their knowledge about what silencers are. And I don't know if you guys have ever shot... Uh, I'm sorry. If you've ever shot an actual rifle in the dark, not on Call of Duty, but a flash hider does not make this thing completely dark in the, in the, uh, <laughs> in the darkness. It uh, dims the flash a little bit so that it doesn't destroy your night vision. But So they wanted this thing to be break open. This little uh, pin here from, I don't know if this was a jug or not, I can't remember. Pops it open just enough to where our magazine release releases the magazine. A fresh magazine can be brought in. Actually, the action needs to snap close first. A fresh magazine brought in, and then we run the charging handle and we're back in business. So, <laughs> uh, the only downside to something like this pin normally is if you ever get what we call chopsticks, two rounds fighting for the same hole, you've got a malfunction tangled up inside this chamber. You do have to remove this pin because now you do have to break apart both pieces of the rifle. And this pin actually is designed to push and turn and pops right out. So I can break this rifle open in an emergency. Okay. I shot it to empty, bolt lock. I'm going to press the button which cracks out the action. Just barely. Barely. I'm going to eject the magazine. Clink. I'm going to close the action. Which you got to like pop down on it. Pop, there pop you go. Down on it. it automatically resets. Resets the button. And then now it is re ready to accept a fully charged magazine again, bolt release, and I'm back in business. So it's actually a good workaround too for those of you who, uh, not that this is any big surprise, but those of you who are in states that can have short barrel rifles, um, this is actually a much better option because you don't have to get paperwork to take this over state lines. You can build yourself an AR pistol straight from Palmetto State Armory or anybody else where you don't need a bunch of permits and, and government approval. So. But the fact that we can own something cool like this in California, most people are not aware. And, and, and a little, you know, the, they, they come up with these laws. These inventors are very clever. They want to make money. And when you have uh, incentive like that to make money, people get very creative. Yep. So make the next law. We're going to work around it. Yeah. So, and the cool thing is, when you've got enough little pills here in the magazine, you really don't need to do a lot of magazine changes. Statistically, in law enforcement and civilian gunfights, I'm never even going to get through this one, but should I need to, there's a way around it where I can throw in and I can carry extra ones in my little tennis bag. That little uh, Wilson tennis bag, by the way, I've carried that over my shoulder in a hotel rooms <laughs> and uh, up and down the street. I can throw it in my truck, fully legal. I can, I can bring what, this thing with me wherever I go. It's uh, urban camouflage. So. <laughs> uh. All right, so I'm going to shoot this rifle until empty. Bolt locks open like normal. I'm going to press the button and break open the action. Drop the magazine. Close the action until it latches. Insert a fresh magazine. Drop the bolt and I'm back in business. Only slightly slower than a regular magazine change. <laughs> California. California. <laughs>